Good morning everybody, I'm Shah from Charlie's Angels Tarot and you know that I am a tarot reader, an empath I can also converse with the people that have left this realm and that I'm a Reiki master and a life coach This book caught my eye because I'm a, a tarot reader and a Lenormand reader and an oracle card reader but this is mainly to do with tarot and using the tarot with uh, the chakras. Now you know that I'm always on about the chakras and the, you've got this, uh, these chakras are the standard chakras, the old-fashioned classical chakras and you also know that I have a book on the angelic chakras, that's the angels and the chakras. So now um, this book is really really diverse and uh, really detailed. It's very thick. It is uh, paperback, as they say. I will leave the IBSN number um, below in the description box. It costs $25, $24.99 USA dollars. You can get it from Shiver or you can even find it on Amazon as Shiver also sells fire. Amazon. Now this book is interesting for Reiki masters, reflexologists, as information from um, that ref, uh, refers to reflexology is also in the book. It's interesting to vegans, um, yoga teachers or people that do yoga, dietists, other form of healers, life coaches and tarot readers with extras. Um, like a tarot reader like myself that has either Reiki background or a reflexology background or um, anything to do with chakras and tarot. Anyone that is thinking of starting anything or in, uh, from the above, like if you would like to become a vegan then this would be a very handy book. Why? Because it makes you more conscious of your body of your chakras um, and where what the chakras stand for and also the organs in our body so if you do have biology background reiki background or tarot background then uh, this book is a must for you this book was written by miriam jacobs and it's called opening new dimensions to healers so let's get started. I have put in all these uh, things because like I said it is very uh, diverse and I'll start off. The presentation is very beautiful as you can see. It's uh, in color as well. It, Miriam is, uh, you get a, a bi biography or a description of um, Miriam Jacobs and I'll just read the um, little thing helps people um, IPE CMT BFA that are all kinds of qualifications okay helps people to change by combining body work processes with a tarot as the creator of the polarity wellness tarot deck she discovered the connection and of tarot and the chakras by examining chakras after a successful career as a visual artist Miriam found herself drawn to the healing arts and began her formal studies in 1989 she studied polarity therapy in New York City and was also certified to train other practitioners Miriam received a certification in massage from McKinnon Institute in 1996. Miriam now lives in San Francisco Bay Area where she has a private bodywork practice and reads the tarot professionally. To learn more about polarity, um, uh, about polarity, tarot and the chakras as well as adds add-ons uh, for this book and classes visit hppolaritytarot.com so that is just a little bio from about Miriam and that she is really 
qualified and that's what makes her okay to write this beautiful detailed book so she is somebody that knows what she's talking about okay then we have acknowledgements and then we have uh, contains and uh, contents are editors forward introduction glossary uh, of wisdom systems and that's astrology um, polarity therapy and and this is a word that I cannot uh, pronounce but it is uh, and it's also a very difficult print to read oh you Veda oh your Veda well we'll get to know what that is on page 12 numerology and Kabbalah so that's the background of the glossary uh, of wisdom systems so there's different systems here okay and there's also Reiki in this reflexology um, so it it is very very diverse <coughs> The chakras and the tarot. Then we have the first chapter is the chakras, tarot, uh, that is the major arcana, the minor arcana, my interpretation for the cards, element symbols, astrology symbols, planet symbols, touch symbols, and challenge, uh, challenge cards. Then we have the energy of the elements, astrology, and that is chapter 2, energy and the ether element, the air element, fire, water and earth and the four active element uh, correlations okay types of touch for the tarot at all chakra therapy then we've got the table of os um, astrological natures table of planetary natures and numbers then we go on to chakra meditation and that is a basic meditation practice compassionate meditation practice crown chakra meditation third eye meditation ether air fire water earth and mudras 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 here if you are not a yoga teacher or a practicing yoga person is how to sit with your hands they've all got different meanings like this means uh, relaxation okay and um, there are uh, tarot cards that will give you um, also the picture of uh, uh, the hands the, the symbols of the hands and uh, I can't remember all of them because uh, I'm not a practicing yoga uh, teacher or person um, I meditate and they, they, there is a um, the uh, mudras tarot cards or oracle cards so have a look at that on Amazon as well using chakra work without tarot um, about symbols the three basic spreads uh, uh, positive and negative cards that is in chapter 4 so there are all in all 13 chapters uh, short lists of elements and chakras then we have the three upper chakras and the major arcana cards uh, the air fire water earth using crystals gemstone and gemstones with the tarot tarot and bodywork practices and foods um, I'll just flip through all these chapters chapters then we've got the bodywork, crown chakra, third eye. We're going through all the systems again. Then we have ref reflexology, foot chart, and I will come back on that when we reach that because, well, I can say it now, there's m a lot more charts um, of reflexology and that a, a, has a story of its own, but um, it's not the same chart as what I have learned okay then we have the tarot and the body ba uh, based practices major arcana meditation rituals minor arcana yoga like exercises court cards art rituals the body uh, the tarot and the f uh, tools uh, or food sorry food guide and you also get a table of the f foods that are correlate uh, with the um, uh, element sign 
then we have home remedies for chakra balancing um, and then we have the end notes and the bibliography and that is um, like words or books that refer uh, are references to um, things now in the, the, f the first page you get to see is um, the chakras uh, where they are positioned on and what kind of element they are like um, the green is the heart chakra that's air uh, chakra swords green that's there and then we go on to the fire chakra once yellow and that's the um, uh, solar plex and you also have on the other side the zodiac anatomy okay Gemini is like 8, 9, 10 uh, of swords is mutable air and that is Gemini and that is the shoulders okay and that is the blue chakra and as you know okay right I'm just skipping them skipping through the book and as you cannot really see clearly but I just would like to give you an idea of what the book contains and so I'm going to skip through it then we have the editors forward and we go on to the in and uh, further into the introduction this brings, uh, book brings together the ancient system of tarot and the chakras my experiences of being an artist, a healer, a tarot card reader have inspired me to make this connection through energy and the elements connecting the tarot to the chakras, strengthens and deepens body systems, making the two more accessible for new explorers and widening the scope of the, of the observation for others here and then it goes on you've got again you have the different areas that relate to each air sign you can this is very well explained um, the systems and what they do it is, gets simpler but it is a lot of information to take in so I would suggest don't uh, be scared if you're dyslectic because you can read it it is Mickey Mouse language so it is easy for anybody to read it's not a, a judicial language or a, a language of a doctor it is easy for everybody to understand now you have a lot of these charts and like the elements here that is like fire earth and water then you've got the chakra um, which sign is, ha, is cor corresponded to the chakra and which tarot suit okay if you don't know tarot then it might be a little bit uh, difficult for you but like it says this book is also for beginners and it's Mickey Mouse language as I said like the air is the heart and and the air is related to swords so if you don't know tarot then you can pick up the tarot through this book as well then we go on to the glossary systems and that's astrology and then we've got that word that I can't say and um, <coughs> the Ayurveda is the ancient holistic science of healing from India it translates as knowing daily life or your Vedic belief is that each individual comes into the world with a specific constitution made up of a unique predominated uh, balance predominant balance of the universal elements constitutional types are known as doshas each dosha has a particular set of qualities that are expressed in the body by the physical features skin and hair qualities attitudes and personality types and they go into it even more like uh, 
een uh, Veta, a combination of ether and air. Pitta, a combination of fire and water elements. Kappa is a combination of water and earth elements. So this is also interesting for astrologers that also practice yoga. And that just carries on and then we're going on to the next page and here we are you this if you know anything about the the Chinese systems like the uh, medium uh, made Mediterranean system that's the invisible system that the Chinese use also in acupuncture this will relate to you too and um, this is the medium Mediterranean. I don't know what is in English. Can't say it. Sorry. Me mediums. Med medium. Uh, well, it's the invisible system. And then you, you would find this interesting as well. So here we go into the uh, uh, numerology and Kabbalah. Kabbalah is barely mentioned as a connecting system in this text. It can be seen in the foundations of tarot and the occult ma ma uh, magic. These versions were most likely crafted in the 15th century. Tarot gives a pictorial and symbolic version of Kabbalah. The Hermetic Order of the Golden Dawn 1890-1920 brought this connection to light. The Golden Dawn in uh, initiated initiated the members the members by using rituals based on the tree of life members were gr uh, graded on how far they could go in their mis m mystical path the golden dawn showed that 22 pathways of the tree of life uh, as having references to the 22 Hebrew letters and the 22 major Akana Khans. The connections to be found in the Tree of Life and early written versions of the Kabbalah system are multi-layered and rich and so goes on and on. Where it comes from and uh, the concept of it. It's quite deep like I said and then we have the chakras and the tarot chapter one here you can also see the biological site uh, by bi yeah, biological site and where they can be found in a sort of like an x-ray drawing then we have the chakras here and we also see the chakras down here we see the chakras down down here let me just do this and you've got the crown chakra and you get a symbol and you can find the symbol back here and you can find the symbols all back here like this is the crown chakra then you've got the third eye chakra then you've got the throat chakra the heart chakra the solar plex chakra the sacral chakra and the root chakra and if you look very closely it is like with the idea of the lotus flower so that is that then we start off with the chakras and the tarot then this is a piece about the tarot I have chosen to put the major arcana cards ascending upwards from the ether chakra to the third eye chakra and then to the crown chakra to make sense of how the tarot relates to the higher realms of the chakra. These are no elements per se for the top two chakras. Many times these chakras are given the aspects of sound and light respectively. Tarot is a system of divination using a deck of cards. Tarot consists of 78 cards. The original, the origins of tarot is unclear. Some believe the tarot dates back as far as ancient Egypt. So you also get history here. And then we start 
with the tarot is divided up into the major arcana and then it goes on to um, what the cards are in the major arcana um, these cards are your karmic lessons and so have the greatest personal significance in the reading the major arcana bring to our awareness archetypal or universal influences that we are currently experiencing or soon will when we recognize patterns that every human shares we gain understanding and connectedness the major arcana cards are sometimes thought of as secret ways to establish a relationship with the divine uh, it's really really easy to uh, read this book and here we go again with the chakra system here you have the ether it goes into the three first uh, major uh, chakras and this is related to the fool okay like the ether is the magician high priestess empress uh, and the the fool is the top one okay um, uh, so the ether is magician priestess empress emperor hierophant lovers and the chariot then we have the third eye that's the strength hermit fortune justice uh, hangman death and temperance the crown is the devil the tower the star the moon the sun judgment and the world now then we've got the minor uh, minor arcana and that's air and that's thoughts relates to the heart chakra and the same for fire and that relates to the solar plex insights water emotions earth physical and it relates to the root chakra here we go here here comes the astrology side of it you have the wheel that the astrologers use or the houses let me put it that way and this is the child this is the birth and then you've got the all the colors of the elements here Aries is the forehead Taurus is the neck Gemini is the shoulders Cancer is the chest Leo is the solar plex Virgo is the colon Libra is the kidneys Sc Scorpio is the genitals Sagittarius is the thighs, Capricorn is the knees, Aquarius is the ankles, and Pisces is the feet. And that's also the twelfth house. It starts from the first to the twelfth house. I'm just flipping through. If you would like to know more and to read this, then I'm sure you can um, uh, get it at the library or buy it okay chakras and the tarot attributes um, the basic meaning of the cards advice and stories that is how each card will be um, I'll show you in a minute how it's set up these are all the element symbols uh, like the uh, air ether the third eye uh, no sorry that the these are the element symbols so the crown chakra is purple and the third eye is indigo and that is uh, MA 8 and 14 so I I have to I um, don't know what that means really hold on these symbols relate to this chart and that would be this symbol it represents the magician the devil and the world like XX1 is 21 is the world and so that's purple relating to the crown the same with the um, third eye and the ether right and the ether that that is the chakra the ether is this one I think Aries no that's the crown chakra so the ether that must be something to do with the 
the ether I would say is the throat chakra because it's blue so you would have to go back to the symbols of the throat chakra now I don't know where that uh, throat hang on, ether is the throat third eye crown higher realms and that's the major arcana okay element it's the element okay so that's the element but the blue is also the throat chakra okay you go on to uh, planetary symbols and then the touch symbols okay then we have the challenge cards and then we go on to the energy elements and astrology and that's chapter two so uh, chapter one is pretty thick okay she's put everything in again here you can see all the chakras the elements etc etc and here it explains what ether is astrological reflex areas and here comes in the reflexology again a bit the entire wheel of the zodiac blue music chakra throat there you go sound ham gemstone moonstone what is ether then this is not the subcategory of halogenated ether in organic chemistry it is metaphysical wisdom systems ether is most of the equated with space itself the ether element is unique in that it is not associated with one particular zodiac sign it is associated with the entire wheel of the zodiac and all the elements are expressed through this realm qualities associated with ether element are silence space and openness ether is the container of all elements meaning it is the starting point for the four other elements and the space from which they in emanate ether is the silence through which we are able to hear inner guidance this is the place between sounds and that is the throat chakra as well okay then we go on to the air and you get the symbol this is how they again explain the symbol it just boom really big so you take note and then you get the astrology signs type of touch for tarot or chakra therapy the three gunas sanskrit that's the language the first language are a term used for ayurveda to describe the qualities born in nature they are the relationship between the expansion contraction and neutral quality of energy dr ralph stone creator of polarity therapy related the three gunas to uh, types of touch and a tactile way to get energy to flow through the body rajas is rocking touch tamas is a deep dis uh, dispersing touch and satvas a light of the body type of touch and so goes and explains all the touches therapies then we have more tables with what they what each sign is like Gemini mutable air quick light talkative indecisive adaptable per perceptive and friendly duality the twins and it's so it just goes on and on then we have also a bit of numerology the table uh, of planetary natures okay that is if you're interested in all this ast um, astrology and this could be interesting to you as well then we go into the chakra meditations for each uh, there's a basic chakra a compassionate sorry basic meditation 
practice a compassionate meditation then we've got the crown and for each chakra we have a meditation okay and that explains it then we go into um, using chakra work with tarot here again you've got the chakra meditations and here you've again a bit of reflexology the pink is earth the ring finger is water the middle finger is fire the uh, this finger the forefinger is air and then we've got the thumb ether and then we also have the um, the houses or the elements rather we've got the uh, chakras I'm t getting everything mixed up excuse me I'm thinking about tarot and I'm thinking about <laughs> elements and zodiac signs but keep to the chakras the crown chakra means I understand the third eye is I see the ether is I speak so the throat chakra then we've got the heart chakra I love fire I do action water I feel emotions um, earth I am okay that's the root chakra then we go into using chakra work with tarot about the symbols okay then we've got again the colors of the chakra then we've got the elements again and then we've got the suits and reading left to right the major arcana like for example the major arcana sub element touch zodiac and planetary influence of the chakras and the minor arcana is element touch planet zodiac and chakra aces element touch sub element and chakra and the court cards are element touch sub element and chakra Okay, so that is important to know. It's all part of it. And here you go to the major. Major, it is again, this bit is explained here, but boldly. So I suppose you can copy that and you can stick it on your vision board. Then we have uh, different spreads a four, a four card spread, and we have a one card spread. Um, and then we've got the chakra body spread to be done with two people you've got positive and negative cards you've got questions possible questions that a client could ask and this is the um, a, a guide to inquiry and uh, your answer or what you could do like help to set intention, open the conversation, lend a witnessing ear, declutter, that is what um, a reader does anyway, or a life coach, all these things, we, you get trained in that. And this is the basic body guide, so again it's highlighting the areas of the elements. Then we go to short lists of uh, elements and uh, chakras and the tarot cards so there we go this is the elements this is the astrological uh, reflex areas uh, for, ca for cancer is the breasts Scorpio pelvis Pisces feet and then you've got the color the art the chakra and the sound and then you get a lot of let's have a look I'll just take you through short list of elements crown chakra so then, then you get air ether fire uh, water and earth then we've got major arcana cards it just takes you through the list then you've got the swords and that's the uh, swords air cards intellectual life swords and then you go two of air three four and blah 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 okay 
then you've got fire uh, five of air five of air five six seven air uh, or of air then you've it's green then you've got eight nine ten and then you've got the air cord cards and this is the same with fire they start with the fire cards spiritual and creative life chakras ace starts with the ace and goes up to kings and queens and also in water and earth then we have the three upper chakras the major arcana chakras and the crown chakras please note that the major arcana cards references ascend upwards from the throat and ether right and then the third eye and then the crown chakra okay that's really clear that she's put that in there because we we were trained in Reiki boom that's the chakra and that's this and that's that and we start at the bottom and we work our way up then we have the major arcana card meanings like the fool so that takes you you get the sub element astrology um, anatomy attributes advice and then the story and then we get a little story for an example uh, it could say that whether uh, how the card originated well I'll read a bit okay um, air sub element is air astrology uranius free from limitations anatomy ankles attributes the fool is spontaneous and seeks adventure he is an archetypal wanderer and a risk taker he is guideless the fool is both unconstrained and unrestrained right advice go on a whim or take a leap of faith just go be brave and open to anything new find your truth and seek where it leads you so that is the meaning of the card and so if you don't know any tarot this is a good book to learn astrology and um, uh, the tarot and the chakra and even more like I said reflexology bits of reflexology and anatomy the story the, st the meaning of the fool has evolved at points he was seen as a rash and uh, goofy in medieval kingdoms the jester who had qualities of the wise fool served the court in the role of clown or trickster jesters entertained the king but also satirized corruption hubris um, hubris uh, or arrogance on the part of the rulers they also had privileges and duties that included speaking the truth to their employers even if it was critical and unwelcome and it gives you also where the card comes from the fool is the first of the major arcana cards and re represents the soul embarking upon a journey if the soul survives intact it is housed in a cave behind the heart okay if not due to trauma or other injuries the spirit it can take refuge in other hidden areas of the body conspicuous if this um, is the case it requires the soul to re retrieval trauma release or uh, other somatic ther uh, therapeutic uh, healing methods in order to become reintegrated and restored to wholeness to my mind it makes sense that the full energy or archetypal free or a prior soul would normally abide below the ether chakra and above or behind the air chakra the heart so it, there's a bit of biology there as well not all cards are so extensive as the full but the um, what I, I was doing the series on the mythical 
uh, tarot and the fool um, is nothing and is something he's not an ending he's also not a beginning uh, the fool was born from a goddess that a big story I won't go into it and he came out of the cave and that's why the cave is also seen as the womb okay now then we have the magician and that's air mercury verbal expression shoulders well that's Gemini okay so that's how you have to remember it d doesn't say Gemini you just have to look at the like um, the high priestess water moon emotional feet well she's the moon goddess if you know your tarot if you are a beginner you will get to know this she also rep she's the moon goddess or represents the moon goddess and the moon is Pisces so this is how you can extend your knowledge so that's the major arcana okay um, so you get a story sometimes um, I did my day card reading and I got um, what did I get I think it was the high priestess and I got the king of pentacles um, and the story was a, a little bit uh, was about as big as this a few lines and it went into um, about the miser the, the guy from the uh, Christmas Carol Ebony's that um, was rich and he was horrible and aggressive and he was a miser and then he turned around to be great so here we start with the air uh, chakra and the suit is swords okay it gives you an explanation of the air chakra and it means I love it's like the lovers Gemini it's easy to remember just think of things like that little snippets and that is the sign you see for air okay so it goes a little bit into the air and then it says it starts with ace again the quality the signs thinking all air signs Gemini Libra Aquarius anatomy all air sign uh, air anatomy shoulders kidney and angles attributes advice and the story And this goes on and on for all um, for the air, and it finishes with the page. It's king, queen, and page. Okay, that is what it does. There you go. Let's have a look. I'll show you. That's the nine. Then we've got the ten, and then we start with the king, queen, knight, and page. And it's the same with fire and gives you an explanation about the fire. Okay. And here you can see we've got the wands. She's also depicted it with a wand. And the areas of the knees is the cradle and the forehead. Now we're going on to water again you get uh, a description of water and also a chalice then we go on to earth and I think it's really well present presented it's really beautiful the writing is clear in the book itself using crystals and gemstones with the tarot so you've seen me do that you see a lot of readers also have crystals on the table and I've got my angels here I always have these stones sometimes I've got little ones other other ones and so uh, crystals and gemstones are tools for enhancing energy and spiritual growth they are source of healing and magic that have been used for centuries so the crystal um, this explains how to use it what it, why crystals um, when you do a meditation or a Reiki healing 
you all, you can have also the chakra stones and you can put them on the person's body if you need to <coughs> I don't but sometimes when I meditate I take my selenite and I love my selenite it is also very good for computers and uh, gadget uh, electrical gadgets it keeps the ether clear Okay. then we go on to um, tarot and bodywork practices and food this is bodywork the basic bodyworks then uh, let's have a look basic body works after doing a reading for someone else leave the cards out on a nearby table choose a challenge card or a card or a suit that predominate or that stands out find the chakras um, that those cards attribute to have your client lie down facing upward so this is uh, um, what you can do uh, once a client has been with you um, to clear their body, to enhance the body to s as a form of healing and like I said when I meditate I take my selenite and I've always got it on my table because of the healing properties and selenite neutralizes so you can sense, you can give that as well uh, that idea to your um, client or querent and you can ask them to uh, um, buy a stone in the stone shop or order it online and that will enhance those chakras that are correspond to your reading uh, with your tarot right then we go um, to the crown chakra subtle moves specific modality and then you have the third eye chakra and the foods and the practice of body works this is again face the head of the client lying on their back place one hand on top of the forehead and one holding under the base of the skull so that's for the third eye um, so you're doing something and it is also what you do in Reiki and it also says Reiki is a system that originated in Japan in the 1800s well was further back that consists of transmitting universal life force Reiki is simple and pure there you go so that is what you do for uh, each chakra it's a, uh, a healing so if the card is let's say the heart um, you've got the king of hearts uh, then you go to the, uh, or the king of swords then you go to the air chakra and it is for the heart chakra okay then you go back into the book and you get the the king and then you revert back to this on what healing you can give here is the piece of ref again piece of reflexology like I said my charts that uh, there's different charts uh, it doesn't really really correspond all of it to the chart that I've learned and then you've got the earth chakra uh, let's have a look body works subtle moves specific yes the tarot and body based practices this is the major arcana then the ma minor arcana and the chord cards well let's just see if uh, making daily practice a ritual sets the intention these practices reflect in a creative way what each card has to offer in a simple conscious terms now in minor arcana enhances the benefits of any kind of physical movement choices of these exercises directly corresponds to the somatic attributes of polarity wellness tarot 
these exercises are inspired by polarity therapy teachers and then uh, you've got the court cards every element has an art form this is where we Stephanie Swafford and I had the most fun in other words we developed our own rituals we took the art form and considered the type of court person and its sub element that we that would be the most appropriate action to take so they chose their own thing so after you've got the basic knowledge and the basic information you can start also adjusting that is the fun of it adjusting the rituals okay you also get um, a short lists of each card the major arcana the air again each element and then we go to the um, body the tarot and the foods so it goes into um, food is an integral part of life and most direct and tangible way to change your uh, psycholo psychology and our frame of mind in my experience many people would rather die than change their diets others will try just about anything and so it goes into the history and the culture and the concept of foods blah 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 and uh, again you've got the suit of fire here cups um, air so and earth okay and she's drawn it in such a way that air is like a tree the tree of life the air is up here then we've got fire then we've got water that's and then we've got the earth where it's planted in and then you get um, each card has a food sword like the ace of air is cherries um, two of air is oranges and there's peanuts and uh, fruit here for the air signs and uh, for the ones we've got wheat beans um, barley all kinds of grain and then we've got water lettuces cucumbers all kinds of greens honeydew and then earth we have russet potatoes daikon radishes parsnips onions yams turnips peat beets sweet potatoes and carrots so it's a lot of roots okay and then we have uh, a section on home um, home ready, uh, remedies and uh, and this is for the third eye then against balance home remedy uh, the ether balanced remedy again for all the suits and elements and then we and go into let's have a look biosonic tuning forks you can use those as well then you've got app high gun have eye younger air balance home remedies elements that's fire and the remedies are like um, this is a self-administered version of the Chinese Shang practice and this is an other practice but um, uh, Abhayanga detoxifies the body by lubricating the skin with generous amounts of oil the skin is absorbed with the air element and this is really like aromatherapist um, and the heart chakra and our largest organ a daily self-administered uh, abhaigana oil m massage increased circulation increases circulation decreases dryness and calms the nervous system if our nervous system are calm is calm and that's a spelling mistake our thoughts are calm which in turn soothes the heart so relaxation is a massage
that's a massage then uh, it tells you how to do it it's a warm bath oil rub yourself in and then let it sit there for half an hour when you're meditating or relaxing and this is uh, also lay on your back with your knees and your feet on the floor put a pillow under your knees and learn again uh, lean against each other with loose or open pants start massaging around your belly button in the clockwise um, motion okay continue this motion slowly and gently going deeper if a spot is sore stay there for a few minutes and massage a little deeper bringing circulation to particular area until there is a loosing of tension as you um, as you circle around move out and away from your belly button okay and then you've got a recipe uh, how to make your own uh, massage thing I think um, an adapted recipe from Dr. Latz or Vedic recipe book Kikari is a stable food in an uh, ovaric diet okay well I didn't see um, I don't see um, a recipe uh, with the air signs it just says using cold compresses do not toast sesame seed oil the, the kind generally used for Asian cooking avoid taking your oil directly from the glass jar you bought it in be sure to uh, be sure the bathroom is kept warm coconut oil recommended for skin rashes and irritations so you do get a little bit of medica uh, medicine information here but I, s I stay away as a reader from um, reading doing readings for health I go to the doctor I leave it over to the professionals um, um, and so you've got one for water and for earth okay um, then we have the full list of self soothers uh, for chakra calming and toning okay then you've got crown chakra third eye blah 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 earth water and fire again and then here you've got the complete chart of connecting the systems you've got uh, tarot chakra astrology sound gemstone art emotions physical body sense tissue okay voice quality and then you just got follow that with the air sign if you are emotional then take the air sign compassion greed charity desire so how do you connect your emotions okay well this is a chart that you have to work out okay it just tells you the air signs what the air signs are and what they represent in the art dance well I say the air signs are also communication okay communication I suppose you can express yourself through dance as well and then we've got the end notes and the bibliography and this is where you get all the information and it's also books and here again it introduction and it gives you another uh, like um, well like chapter 7 uh, from lecturer Greg Braden, Salt Lake City, Utah, 2006. Uh, it bring, um, for more information and support groups on near-death experience, go to the International Association of the Near Death. So that would have been uh, discussed or mentioned in the introduction. 
but this is all where she it relates to the information she's used for this book and where she's got it from I think okay and it also refers to the people uh, where she has learnt it or got the information from okay well I hope you enjoyed that review uh, it is definitely an intriguing and a well written book and I will leave this uh, IBSN number underneath the video and I might just do the video in two parts if not in one part but it's going to be very long so I hope you enjoyed that and I hope you feel motivated to check it out uh, yourself go to the library I would say and see whether you can uh, have a look in the book and perhaps you might want to buy it and it will be like a Bible it certainly is a Bible for me <laughs> I love it and it's bringing old memories back from my reflexology days my uh, Reiki days and also a wake-up call for me to take better care of my my myself and my body yeah better foods uh, I like it. I hope you do and take care and please share and like uh, with family and friends or if you by any chance know a Reiki master, reflexologist, a vegan, a yoga person, a person that does yoga or a yoga teacher uh, or a dietist or other healers or life coaches give them a, a tip on this book Take care and see you in the life or see you in the next video. Ciao, ciao.